The Department of Probation and Parole Services commenced a five-day camp at the Binfield Comprehensive Secondary School on Monday, July 11, 2016. The camp has been initiated for secondary school students in the south of the island under the theme a step for a better tomorrow with the aim of empowering at the risk juveniles with the values skills and knowledge required for becoming productive and responsible citizens kendall elver probation officer attached to the department explained to juvenile news the purpose of such an activity intended to equip young people students with the skills knowledge values so that they can be positive and productive citizens. Young people go through a number of issues. However, as a department, you recognize that there has to be an intervention where they are empowered to make better decisions, where their critical thinking skills, these things are added to. Because young people, if given the right opportunities, if strengthened to realize that they can be great individuals we believe that these things will be attained and that is why we are hosting this camp during this camp the young people would be exposed to interactive discussions on a number of topics such as conflict resolution decision making goal setting self-esteem and self-exploration added to that there is a social justice art component to this camp and it focuses on the whole issue of sexual exploitation. And that's an issue which affects us as a country because if you think back, you would realize that we have had certain issues with the, with the matter of rape, uh, sexual molestation of children. And so this social justice art program is there to really ensure that the young people know how to deal with matters of this nature. He continued to venture into a number of team building and leadership exercises which the students will be taught and will be engaging in. We also have a number of team building exercises that they will engage in. These team, build exercise, team building exercises, they utilize sports as an avenue to develop interpersonal skills. So at least our students have more emotional intelligence they become better communicators and overall they have the set skills which are required for them to function within society in a manner that is in their own interest and uplifts us as a country. The other aspect of this team building exercise is that it is also there to develop leadership skills in the students because many times we tend to look at others as leaders and we do not realize that we have the skill sets once we focus on the right things in our lives to actually be leaders. And for us, we want to instill a sense of responsibility and maturity in the students through these team building exercises. Elva is thankful to the sponsor of this initiative and to all who are working towards the success of the camp. This activity is being sponsored in full by the United Nations Development Program, UNDP, on their, their social innovation for change project and we are most grateful for the contribution that they have made towards the hosting of this activity because we believe it will go a long way to empower our young people of St. Lucia with the skills that they require to become um, proud and productive citizens and we are also working with uh, the Ministry of Youth and Sports uh, because the team exercises will be facilitated by individuals who receive training by this particular ministry under the BUILD program. And we are also liaising with the Southern Division of the Royal St. Lucia Police Force. So it is a team effort where we have brought different agencies together to work with our young people. But the probation department is the implementing department for this particular activity. An invitation is extended to the general public to be at the Binfield Comprehensive Secondary School on Wednesday 20th, which will mark the culmination of the camp. The public will be treated to an exhibition of talents, arts, and creativity, which will depict what the students have learned. Anisha Fanis, Juvenile News.